Growing up in Sweden, I was always very comfortable and warm. And I remember as a child sitting really close to the window and looking outside and watching the snow. And then coming over to New Zealand, in the middle of winter, you don't want to go close to the windows. <laughs> and people seem to sort of gather in the middle of the room around a heater. And yeah, it didn't really make sense to me. So one of the key drivers when designing the house was to make it energy efficient and comfortable and warm inside. And to achieve that, orientation was key. So the planning of all the rooms, having living areas facing north and storage towards the back. The materials I'm using on the outside of the house is a, a Bodo timber cladding. And that was because I wanted to have a really warm material. I really wanted the wood, even though it's a bit more high maintenance, it was worth it to me and it also have very low embodied carbon. The cladding was a material that is low maintenance to contrast to more high maintenance uh, timber cladding, but it's also sustainable in a sense that it's extremely durable, it can be recycled and is locally made in New Zealand. The window joiner is extremely important, so it's triple glazed and it's timber frames. The frames themselves are really thick, about probably 120 mils, so quite heavy. There is an air tightness layer around the whole external envelope of the house. So it's essentially like a spaceship where you control the fresh air coming in and fresh air coming out. So it's only leaking through in the heat recovery system. I think there needs to be more education and awareness around how to achieve high performance buildings because when you look into it and you do the logical side of it, it all makes perfect sense. Once they understand it and once it clicks, you don't want to do anything else.